Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good, Ravens Block, man? It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video, man. And today we're gonna talk about the game status of, you know, the Ravens versus the Patriots game heading into Sunday. Who's playing, who's not? Just what we gathering from this this Friday's injury report, man. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Closing in on 700 subscribers, man. So everybody who has subscribed, Thank you, I greatly appreciate it, man. And if you like the content of the channel, man, you know, come on and join. You know, I'm doing content pretty much on a daily basis, bro. I gave you all the ravers, things and things of that nature. All right, so let's get right into it. Who's playing, who's not, all right? Now, the top of the uh, the injury report, there was Rashad Bateman. He was out of practice today for a personal reason. John Harbaugh said that's all good. He's playing Sunday. Um, J.K. Dobbins has been a pretty much a full participant all week, but once again, he's questionable, so... We'll see what the Ravens do with J.K. Dobbins. I mean, he's been he's been practicing fully for the last couple of weeks. Uh, he gets to the game day, he'll work out, then he's ruled out. You know what I mean? So if they rule him out this week, it'd be really interesting because then obviously the Ravens just could have put J.K. Dobbins on IR to start the season. I've been saying that for a while. I just have him come back week five, no questions, no concerns. But for some reason, they refused to do that, and now we're kind of stuck in this limbo with J.K. Dobbins. We'll see what happens. Hopefully he plays. Devin DuVernay entered the week in concussion protocol. He had on uh, the latest injury report, he's listed as full go. He's going to play this Sunday, so it's good to have Devin DuVernay back. Uh, great to say that he's healthy, so, you know, concussions can be a scary thing. Um, so, uh, Marlon Humphrey, he was at a full participant in practice today. He is listed as questionable. I would have to assume he will play. Um, if he played last week, even though he did miss some time, I would have to assume that questionable for him. He's going to play, all right? So I would say Marlon Humphrey will be out there, um, but we shall see when the injury report comes out, what the inactive list, I should say, comes out on uh, on Sunday. But I think Marlon Humphrey is going to play. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he started the week with limited, with the elbow. He's been full the rest of the week. He has no injury designation on there. He's going to play, all right? Um, so there was nothing to worry about there. Raymond just had to list them because, you know, you got to list everybody who has even the slightest little thing, so... Uh, they had to list them there. So no no, no no concerns there. Now, the one I want to get to, Travis Jones, man. We've been waiting for this guy. Well, at least I can say I've been waiting for this guy. You know, Big Bully. He's already got a nickname for me, and ain't, he ain't even played a snap yet. It looked like he's set to make his NFL debut this Sunday, man. Uh, he had, he's been full participant all week. He has no injury designation next to his name. No questionable, nothing like that. Is nothing there, so that means he's going to play. So it looks like he is set to make his debut. And this guy is a game wrecker, man. And first, the Patriots team, who's going to want to run the ball, have this guy down the middle is great. First, a quarterback person like, like Mac Jones, who isn't that mobile. If you can get some pressure up the middle on him, collapse the pocket. Come on now. Travis Jones is a big, big addition, and I'm glad to see that like he's on track to play this Sunday, okay? Uh, now, one that I, wasn't, I didn't know about until I looked at the injury report, Isaiah likely has been limited all week, and he's questionable with a groin injury. Now, this is quite interesting. I, maybe I dismissed it. I wasn't paying attention to it, but uh, he's questionable. He's been limited all week. This is a guy that you got to keep an eye on. I don't know if he's going to play. we got to keep an eye on Isaiah like he's going to play this weekend. Um, for right now, I would say, you know, it's probably 70% chance he does play. But, you know, he's he's been limited all week, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Marcus Peters is questionable. Uh, this is all part of his uh, rehab recovery. Um, there was no new injury from Sunday's game, so, you know, they're just listing him as that just because, you know, he was on a pitch count. He's not fully back, so if I had to guess, he'd be on a pitch count again. But Marcus Peters will play this Sunday. Um, so the Ravens will have their two top corners, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters. They will be out there. So, you know, versus a Patriots team whose offensive weapons aren't aren't the greatest, and we're just going to say that, you know. Uh, James Prochet was a full participant in, in today's practice. He's still listed as questionable, but you have to imagine that he's playing in the game. He's been ramping up, uh, you know, started off as limited, then, you know, been full kind of after that. So you have to imagine that he's ramping up to make his, uh, well, I guess he, he did play in the Jets game, so not his season debut, but to play in this third game of the season, you have to imagine that he'll be out there. So the Ravens will have their full uh, receiving core, you know, out there uh, this Sunday versus the Patriots, all right? And Ronnie Stanley did not practice today. He's listed as doubtful. I know we're tired of talking about Ronnie Stanley's injury. I said in the uh, Wednesday injury report, man, until he's not on the inactive list, to me, he's out. 
So this doubtful listing, this did not practice listing, is not a surprise to me. It's just kind of what I expect. Um, so hopefully, you know, he can come back. He can be Ronnie again, be full strength. The Ravens are obviously taking a very, very cautious approach with him. Uh, it could, it could just be a football shape thing. You know, maybe he's not ready in football shape. He has to gear up towards that. I don't know. Not making any speculation on uh, any further than that. But Ronnie Stanley probably 90% chance will not play again this Sunday. Maybe we'll see him week five. I don't know. But until, uh, you know, his name's not on an active list, I'm just going to call him out. You know, that's it. He's just out to me. All right. Brandon Stevens, a full participant in today's practice. The fish are listed as questionable. You would have to imagine that he's going to play as well. A lot of these guys that are listed as questionable just because, you know, they... You never know what could be happening between now and Sunday. It's only a couple of days, but, you know, just questionable is a, is a cautious uh, designation. But Brandon Stevens has been ramping up to play this week, so he'd be out there. So the Ravens should have that full complement of guys um, playing. Now, we know last week was a dog, but a lot of stuff that happened was because there was a lot of inexperience out there, a lot of rookies. And, you know, they played, made some good plays. You know, Kyle Hamilton had some good plays, uh, you know, contrary to popular belief. Jalen Armour Davis had some good plays. Pepe Williams had some good plays. But... In the end, their inexperience showed, and they they, they blew some coverages, you know. Um, that's not all on them. Obviously, Mike McDonald takes some of the blame for that, you know. I think he probably got too exotic when he knew he had young players in the game. Probably should have kept it more basic. But, you know, the Ravens will have their veteran core leadership of guys back. Marcus Peters, uh, uh, Marlon Humphrey. And then, you know, Brandon, Brandon Stevens, is, you know, it's only his second year, but you know, he's obviously more experienced than, you know, a rookie like Jay Armour Davis or Pepe Williams, things like that. So it's good to have him back. And, you know, the Ravens will have a decent secondary going into a game where the Patriots receivers aren't too crazy. So hopefully we can lock them down. All right. And last guy is Pepe Williams on this injury report. Full practice today, full participant in practice today, and also listed as questionable on the injury report. So the Ravens are coming into this Sunday's game versus the Patriots. Close to full strength. Yesterday, they had all 53 people practicing. That was including Ronnie Stanley. He didn't practice today, but yesterday he did. So the Ravens are getting healthier. Um, you know, obviously, there's guys on the season ended IR. You know, you can't do anything about that. But as far as the 53 guys that they have on the roster now, uh, it's looking good. It's looking real good, man. Now, uh, I said in yesterday's video about J.C. Pierre-Paul. Is there a possibility he will play? There isn't one. He's not really fully guaranteed. Not guaranteed, but so he's not. he hasn't really finalized the contract just yet. So he won't play this week for sure. Uh, so hopefully we'll see him uh, next week. Big game versus the Buffalo Bills. And that's where we'll see Jason Pierre Paul's debut, if I had to imagine. All right. So that's the injury report, man. Big guys playing. Rashad Bateman, you know, Lamar Jackson, Devin DuVernay. Uh, hopefully we'll see J.K. Dobbins, you know, and then a guy like Ronnie Stanley is out, man. So that's the game status for the Ravens. They're looking healthy going into uh, week three. And to me, I mean, every game in the NFL is a must win. But I think this game is really a must win. You want to get the two on one. You want to be able to go to into Buffalo uh, versus the game versus Buffalo with full confidence in your team. And winning this game versus the Patriots, I think, will help with that. All right. Uh, so that's the injury report for today. That's the game status going into Sunday, man. That's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.